loves. It's A Back on Your Screen with another vlog. Hope you're well. As you can tell, I just finished a gym set. Probably my last one on a Monday for a bit because I'm going to switch up my routine a little bit. You know, sometimes things get stale. But on the roster for today is a lot of errands of running. Why is my phone so zoomed in? It's 9.30 and I'm supposed to be somewhere in half an hour. But the way this hair is looking, that's not happening. So I'm going to fix my curls, pick a fit. We're going to go downtown because I have a couple errands to run. And then I have to also get light bulbs because if you saw last vlog, you know, you know. I don't know how that happened. I never lost two bulbs in one day. I hope you didn't mind the little montage. I didn't really feel like talking much. Plus, I haven't seen my friend in four months. Time is flying. That's a whole quarter. That food was so good, but I had to do extra today. <laughs> it was a nice little treat meal. I don't call them cheat days or cheat meals. The intention you put into food actually is scientifically proven to determine how your body processes it. So if you think you're eating bad food, your body's gonna process it differently. I remember learning that in my undergrad. For those of you who don't know, I studied nutrition and food science. Fun fact, so I always have to have the mindset that if I'm gonna eat unhealthily, because essentially a burger and a bubble tea, hello, I was really indulgent yesterday. Anyway, when you eat something that you know that's not necessarily gonna boost you up, you make it worse by having the mindset that, oh, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do or it's a cheat meal, da, da, da. Anyways, I could go off all day. That's what the nutrition videos are for. Let me get showered, fix the do, and I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, Aaron one, dry clean coat. Yeah. So shall we try again? Let's try it. This morning, at If anything, I can pay the day up and bring cash, just in case. Thank you for that. another try. It sounds like it's working, but like you said, Rogers is kind of key. Yeah. Aaron number two, return coat. It's way too big. All right, Aaron three is work related, so I can't take you there, but I'll see you afterwards. First floor. Name, floor. Errand four. Boring, basic. Need my light bulb, so. <laughs> Whose idea was this? How am I supposed to get to here? Oh, okay. Okay. Enough of the foolishness, it's time to get out of here. Ooh. Oh my gosh, all of this for some light bulbs, really? Ooh. Whoops. Are you looking for anything? Pardon? Are you looking for anything? Just these cleansing wipes. Do you hear that? What's going on? Anyway, I'm back. For like less than 10 minutes before I'm gonna throw on some sneakers. I'm not wearing heels to go up that hill to go get my nails done because that's the next errand. So let me take these socks off because brown socks with white sneakers, that's weird. I got my light bulbs, like I said, so thank God because I hate having a dark bathroom. The brighter the light, the better it is for me being visually impaired. What is super weird is he marked off my receipt and I heard the lady say security in point and I was like, they better not be calling for me. And then I waited behind just to see if they're gonna ask the people behind me. Five people passed. He didn't ask any of them. There's a lot of microaggressions like that in Toronto. People don't speak on it enough. Got my cleansing wipes. You saw I made a mess in there. As soon as I dropped it, the guy's like, do you need help? No, I'm just trying to zoom in. You know what this made me notice? So when I was coming home, you gotta tap your card to enter the subway. There used to be tickets or tokens, but they got rid of that. Wait, they might still have tickets, or it's either cash or Presta only. Either way, all I know is this chick waited for me to tap to come behind me, and she had her card out, so she could have paid. And that's not the first time that happened, and it's always white girls. I don't know what it is. It's funny because I've heard a lot of people say, oh, black people do this, oh, brown people do that. But, I mean, I'm just saying what I saw. And that's like the fifth or sixth time that's happened. It's always been. I've had girls run after me to not tap their card, and I'm just like, seriously? Anyway, enough chit chat. Let me go get these nails situated. I think I'm gonna take the tips off because I'm kind of over it. I might cut them shorter too. We'll see what we do. 
so many options. I don't know if I have product showcase on and it picks it up, but that's what we're working with. I love it. She initially picked a darker color, which I love, but just because of what's going on next week, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get away with it. So this shade is what we're gonna go with. Oh, of course someone calls when I vlog. Hello. Yes, speaking. Uh, if you call that frosting. I don't know what it is, but certain brands of oat milk don't froth at all, and it's so underwhelming. I'm gonna try this one, even though I picked up the wrong one by accident. Hopefully this one will set up, well not set, set is for so foam froth for me. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Very productive day, busier Monday than most Mondays. I didn't intend it that way. My next nail appointment will be on a Saturday, that's all I know. And I can't wait to put the light bulbs. This is how you know, adulting is real. When you're excited to replace the burnt out bulbs. So let's see if this works. I feel like this is a science experiment. This frother was the best purchase I ever made. Did you notice I tried to turn it on when it wasn't on the platform? I'm not okay. Which reminds me, we have to order blender this week. I have so many frozen bananas. My spinach went bad. Well, I do need to re-up on some of my pineapples and mangoes anyways. So these are my cheat code to getting my greens in because as you guys know, I don't like raw veggies. I loved cooked food, hot food all day, every day. Unless it's like ice cream and even sushi, I need the rice to be warm. I'm weird like that. But enough about that. There's always a little spill. What's new in my life lately blind? I was up until almost one yesterday doing thumbnails and tags and titles. So I have to get back into that. Today is Monday, so I gotta do my two podcasts. And while the fridge is off, maybe I should try to bang out one. I think I'm gonna do that right now, actually. You know, you have ADD or ADHD, whichever one, when you leave your frother to set up to do podcasting and you forget that the same stand that is for your cam is for your microphone. I'm not, I'm not all aware. But look, it does froth. So at least we know that this type of oat milk froths. You can't have a latte without foam. Okay, it's just not a latte. Afternoon, everyone. I feel like treating myself to a chai tea latte, so that's what we're gonna do. See you in a few. St. Patrick Street. Just came back from Cafe 23. It's so good there. I love the energy. Anyway, a lot warmer of a day than I expected. No complaints. I wish this was all of October's weather. That every call you make has been recorded and you've been followed. Can you imagine how many Harveys there are out there? You want to get me killed? Do you wish you hadn't signed up for this story? Do you? No. The only way these women are going to go on the record. Morning, guys. It's a matcha moment. So good. I didn't have a matcha yesterday morning because I was saving myself for the chai latte, but I felt like I was missing out, so I had one in the afternoon anyway. I'm gonna do one more coat of mascara, which I'm either going to be grateful for or regret because sometimes it smudges. I love how I try to bring this camera last night to let you know that I was going to see the Woman King. I get in the car, I realize the SD card is in the computer. I was transferring files that I have enough space but I forgot the card in here, so what was the point? I try to catch a little footages on my iPhone of the experience, of course, before the movie began. First of all, I've never been to VIP, which I don't know if I can ever go back to a regular movie because what have I been missing all of my life? Now I see why people pay the extra dollars to go. It's a completely different experience. The chairs are more comfortable. There are servers that bring food to you. The tacos were blessed and so was the poutine. Everything was just, and a bottle of wine? What? 
And not only that, the movie was amazing. I mean, I heard it was good, but it was next level good. And you know me, I like to get my Googles on. So I did a little research and I realized it's not really actual factual had it been. Some people might have been moving awkwardly in their chair, but for what it was and for what they did, I think it was amazing. Amazing. I give it four out of five because, you know, very rarely do I give anything a perfect, but I loved it. My favorite scene, well, I don't want to ruin it for those of you who haven't watched yet, so we'll save that. Maybe I'll tell you in the next vlog, but I really, really liked it. For the first movie that I haven't seen in more than three years, because I hadn't seen a movie a couple months before the lockdown began too. I don't remember the last movie in the movie theater I saw, but I know I couldn't see it that well. But the theater was smaller and we were sitting in the midway part and I could see most things. I could make out the facial expressions, although I couldn't see it clear, clear. Subtitles, forget about it. I could see the costumes, like they had like the shells. I think they were shells. They looked like shells or pearls. There's a couple things where I couldn't make out too clearly, but I got the gist. And I'm actually surprised how much I could see because this week my vision got worse again and I woke up like, hmm. So this was a real test for me. And it's crazy how the simplest, smallest thing in life can become not just a big thing because of Stardust disease, but something you have to consider and that people around you have to consider too. Because if you go to a movies with someone who isn't visually impaired, you don't care, you'll sit anywhere where there's a seat available, where your preferences are at the back of the back then you have to think about that when you're going with somebody so it really makes me realize kind of like the episode 5 of the Dahmer miniseries which I finished yesterday oh my gosh I lost sleep over that but when they had the episode with the deaf guy and how the whole family had to learn sign I don't know what I'm doing is that sign I don't think I could ever learn it it's so hard it seems so complicated but <laughs> It made me realize that when one person gets diagnosed, it's almost like all the family and friends, if they're willing to become diagnosed in a way too. I've told you guys many times before that quite a few friends and family will still send me long texts, even though I've told them for years, I cannot see it. And it doesn't make sense for me to turn it into spoken content and have it read out loud. Because then otherwise, why wouldn't you just send a voice text or a call, right? But People don't care. At the end of the day, I've come to the realization that some people forget and it's an innocent mistake, but most people don't care because they're not the blind one. So it's not their problem. And they're just gonna do them, especially if you let them. So I just don't take it personally anymore. Enough about that. As you can tell, your girl's dressed up for yet another meeting. So I'll check in with you guys after and let you know how it goes. And then we have a lot of things to do today. I don't know how much I can show is a lot is a lot, is a lot, is a lot, but I just wanted to pop on. And you submit it in everyday life. I'm not a, I'm not a, a lady. She was that girl. She was in it for like school. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see me, cause the sun is coming in bright bite. I'm not mad at it though, cause you know, there's a lot of cold dark days ahead. Finished filming, super happy about that. I kind of want to go out and get an iced coffee, but I also want to sleep and it's after three, so probably not. I don't know. All I do know is maybe I won't put this away just yet because it's angled it perfect in case I need to do any B-roll or whatever. Uh, 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 let me change you. Other network said 19 degrees when I checked it last and I was like, mm, I don't know if I trust you because last time it said 14, it was for reason. So we'll see, because I definitely want to get out and enjoy it if it is actually that mild. It looks so beautiful. But you know how that goes. The days that are the sunniest are usually the most cold. But if this is 19, it really can't be that bad. Let me go on the balcony and see. We can't even sit in peace. Cause all of these niggas be on you. I'm just saying right me. Yeah, one that you call and you talk to, girl. Yep, that's me. Five fifteen twenty eight today, just confirming. Unexpected. 
they gave me a token for a Chevy after I got my blazer. So I'm going to try these on when I get home with a couple fits to see which color I like better. I put on all my dress pants. I refuse. Homegirl's a good salesperson, but I refuse to buy a new pair of pants to match the blazers that I'm not even sure I like because they're super boxy and I'm more of a feminine fit kind of girl. But these are the colors. I got these two pants, the same style, which I never do, but I love them so much when I bought them, what, five, six years ago that I got them in two colors. They're more of a cropped fit, which is not really in anymore, but that's how it goes. They always cycle so that you always have to buy them new thing. I don't care. I have these culottes, which do people wear culottes? Are they even called culottes plus white? I mean, I do love me a good winter white, but those are definitely summer white pants. I have these paper bag pants, which are gonna be super annoying every time I have to steam them. On the other hand, these, I was gonna say heather green, but it's more of a forest green pants, are wrinkle resistant, so perfect for days when I wake up late. Then I have these wool pants, also cropped. I really liked crop a couple years ago. And now I really want a pair of light pants like this. These ones are not technically dress pants, but they're so flowy. I mean, they're dressy, but they're not dress pants, if you know what I mean. They're also really, really tight. I don't know what was going on with Zara when they made this extra small, because it's giving double extra small. I'm so happy that I'm not that tiny anymore, because it sucks when you're trying to find something and the small size doesn't fit. You just can't buy it, unless you want to pay crazy amounts to alter it. So I'm going to try the blazer on. I got to do this quickly, because I got to make stir fry and fried rice tonight, just so I have meal prep. Happy with the veggies. <laughs> Not me exposing my bra. This looks equally as crazy. This is looking crazier and crazier. I think it's just a dub. This is just all a dub. I've come to the conclusion that I prefer wearing blazers with casual bottoms. Jeans never fail. Never. When I try to do this whole dress up grown and sexy thing, no. Just no 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 no. Taking a mini break from editing to do a little multi-masking. I'm not only going to mask, but while this mask is doing what it's supposed to do, I'm also going to do a little yoga sesh since the one I did this morning was basic at best. And I need to get used to doing yoga again at night because I think it's time to switch up my schedule a little bit. The same way I was trying to switch up my style with those two blazers. Maybe those are a no. That's what happens every time I try to change my style. I hate it initially and then I force it. Maybe, maybe not with those blazers because I think I'm going to take them back and try again tomorrow. But anytime I want to switch up my style and just go for something different than what I've been wearing for a while, instant aversion. I don't know what it is. Do you feel the same or is that just a me thing? And why am I only using my right hand like my left doesn't work? Sometimes I think I depend on my right hand way too much. Did you know that I was born, well, I was born left-handed and my mom who's left-handed taught me how to be right-handed since she knows the struggles of being left-handed. And I wondered why couldn't I just be ambidextrous? Cause I always think it's sick when people have skills like that. Oh, for once this is not stinging my face. It usually does. Ooh, it's starting to tingle. I think I spoke too soon. Left cheek on the, thread that top arm all the way through. Cheek is on the ground, no body comes in the front. Baby, you're not getting you, man, you feel so sick. I got my eyes on you, cool, I got my eyes on you. I 
Morning guys, I don't think I've ever seen the mall this desolate, this quiet. Just gonna quickly do the returns because remember, the blazers didn't work. And then we're gonna head over to a cafe to chill with Evie for a bit before we run some more errands. I would like to get to know if this is 10 to 6. 10 to 6. 10 to 6. I'm here and it's still not open, even though it says 10 to 6 and it's after 10 to 30, so I don't know what's going on. No, I do spend. He's not here I'm yet, true. so I think I might go to Anthropology for a sec. Maybe I should also Google a next cafe just in case this place doesn't open by the time she gets here. New blazer. This one matches my style a little bit more, but I'm still warming up to it. Ugh, guys, anytime I change, change is inevitable, but I'm one of those who are change averse. It's not the thing, but whatever. I prefer like this kind of style where it's dressed up, but it's still chic and casual, if you know what I mean. It is a lot warmer out there than I thought it'd be. So all these layers. I mean, inside that cafe, which is actually a pastry place, so they take a lot of cake orders. It came in handy because it was cold in that cafe. There was a couple more cafes on the street, but I wasn't sure which one would have more of a vibe. But it was... At the end of the day, we came, we saw, we conquered. I'm gonna see what else this blazer pairs with. But first, lunch. And I'm gonna have a matcha because I was craving one, but they didn't have matcha on the menu. Hello. So I'm gonna have my matcha moment right now, clean up a little bit, edit and upload today's video. And I'm gonna also work on the TikTok so I can post that tonight. So you girls got a lot cut out, so I'll check in with you guys. I might switch things up starting next week because when I'm vlogging, I have to stop what I'm doing and explain. I know you guys like that so you know what's coming next. I might still do that, but that might mean I might show you more when I'm going out and doing things versus my home life. So let me know. That might mean an end to the Kitchen Chronicles, but I mean, like I said, change is inevitable. Another class done. That one was a lot of fun. I think I'm getting better. Either that or this one was an easier one. Whichever way it goes, they gave me two free class pass. I'm gonna see if another friend wants to join me. Or maybe I can do like a little giveaway for people who live in Toronto who wanna try pull with me. What do you guys think? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna think about it. Hello, hello. So 
I got a couple things, not too many. These are on sale, so I stocked up for months. I don't even know where to put these. Here's my little guilty pleasure. I haven't had patties in so long, so I was like, you know what? I don't even know where to put them. I got strawberries. Strawberries. Blueberries were $7, so I left them in the store. I wanted to try something different, so I don't know how this is gonna taste. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret it. And I got my classic coconut. Obsessed with coconut everything. Every, every, everything. Of course, mushrooms, bananas as per usual. Some more potatoes, because I'm gonna make them tomorrow. One, just one plantain. Zucchini. Oh, still ready. Portobello. Broccoli. Green onion, because the last ones went bad. Smaller haul than usual. And then I went to Clora, as you saw. That's where I went first, actually, and I got this heat protectant. The lady showed me two other ones, but I used this Chi one. Don't even know if the review is still up here. I must have reviewed that eight, nine years ago, which is crazy. It's okay. It's not the best. I decided to try this instead. Plus, it's a smaller bottle, so if it doesn't work, I don't feel bad about having a product because there's so many products I have in my bathroom cabinet. That cupboard is just stocked with things that I don't use, and it's so annoying to me because I just... I need a core five products for curls and a core three to five products for straightened hair. That's it. Everything else is just extra with it. But that's enough chatting from me. I'm gonna get to dinner and I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Morning everyone, hope your day is off to a good start. It's Friday. I was gonna go to a cafe and then I told myself, by the time I get dressed up, go to the cafe. That's a lot of time to waste when I know I have tons of things to do today. So instead, I was like, let me make some homemade chai. But in order to make homemade chai, you gotta make homemade chai mix. And I didn't realize it was gonna be a whole fiasco. I finished off different essences or whatever you call them, spices. And now she cannot stir it. Although I think I should probably stir this since I don't want to have cardamom and cinnamon on the top and then ginger in the middle and nutmeg and cloves on the bottom because that, oh no, don't waste the precious spices. That's probably not good. So I'm just going to stir it a little bit. This is a lot. This is going to last me. I guess I'm not going to Cafe 23 for a minute, especially if it tastes as good as the one they make because that's the best one ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. If you're ever in the six, you need to go there and order their chai latte. I think that's mixed up enough. It was so pretty with the different colors, but it wouldn't taste good if the colors weren't mixed up. So now it's got this beautiful brown color, which actually matches the nails. Can you see it? Is it zooming in? Mm, it smells like a Christmas cookie. I'm so excited. It smells like gingerbread. Okay, so I need a teaspoon of this. I'm gonna turn on my frother. Day is going by. Why does that sound like that? Also, because the lid was not on. <laughs> also, if I was smart, I would have put this in with the milk so I wouldn't have to stir it myself. Too late. I need some maple syrup because I'm Canadian, eh? <laughs> a lot of people I know don't say eh as much as I do, so I don't know if that's a real Canadian thing or what. But let me put all of these spices away because this is a lot, like, I felt like I was baking. I don't want to make an apple crisp this weekend. Why didn't I think of that when I was at the grocery store yesterday? I'm going to see my great grandma today, but depending on what time it takes for me to edit and we'll film first, I don't know if we're gonna go all the way to Etobicoke, Narnia. Hey, no shade if you live in Etobicoke, but you live far, far. And for the people who live out west and say, I live far, I'm central, hello. I can get anywhere downtown in about half an hour to 45 minutes, an hour, because you know, sometimes you can't rely on the TTC, but Etobicoke, the only thing Etobicoke is close to is Mississauga, and Mississauga is close to Brampton, and I don't even know what else. What else is out there? Georgetown, Oshawa. No, Oshawa is that away. Apparently, I'm supposed to do this in a saucepan. I don't have a saucepan small enough, so what we're going to do is do this. Since 
we need two cups anyway. Let me rinse it out. I'm just so confused. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. All's well that ends well. I'm on in mid filming. So I gotta do this quick, 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 quick. Okay. So one, two heap. It didn't say heaping teaspoons, so I'm gonna assume it's two flattened teaspoons. While that's going, I need a black tea bag. Does orange pico count? Jeff's brother gave me all these teas from England. I'm sure there's a black tea in here. English breakfast counts, right? The only problem is English breakfast has a flavor to it, and I don't want it to affect. My first time giving this chai a try. Earl Grey Classic. I don't know what the difference is. I really miss being able to just look at something and see it instead of having to wait for my phone to focus. But on the other side, I should just be grateful that I even have a device and I live in these times, right? Royal breakfast. Mmm, fancy, huh? It's called the General Jar Jarji Ling. I feel like I'm being racist saying that because I'm saying it's so wrong. And this is Assam. I'm gonna go with the Sam because I don't know who the general is. I mean, I want that. Return to sender, run it back. I didn't realize that chai had black tea in it. The more you know. So my head was cut off for 90% of that. What did I talk about? Oh, that I love Rihanna? Okay, whatever. Let's try. Oh. It deserves the respect, don't play with me. The $7.06 rotted cents that I spent earlier this week on that chai, although it was blessed, those blasted six cents. Ain't got nothing on this. This? Whew. I'm about to open my own cafe, okay? I'm gonna put the recipe down below since it's not my recipe. I would tweak it a bit. In all honesty, less allspice because it's coming off a little too strong. And I'm not a fan of allspice the same way I don't like a star anise. Yo. This could give my turmeric latte a run for its money though. Oh, it's so good. And I was concerned because the way it looks, it's definitely not giving chai latte in the cup, but when you sip it. Foundation on, figured it's perfect time to run out, get a couple things from Farm Boy, so I don't have to during the weekend. Because it's gonna be pandemonium. I already know that the shelves are gonna be empty. I need to put the wind muff on this for all these windy days. Now that I think about it, maybe I'll do that when I get home. Groceries secure. As for usual, I got a lot going on. Don't know if you can see because the sun is coming in real bright and real high. But I have tonight's meal prep started. I left, went out and got apple caramel crumble ice cream because hello, that's a thing. Definitely gonna try that later on. I actually wanted to get lava cake, but I went to two supermarchés and couldn't find it. So three avocados. I still need to order. Rude. I still need to order a blender. Ever since I almost finished, I still haven't finished that mini series, Dahmer. I've been hearing things. I know I'm just paranoid because like I heard my lighter fall in the bag. I notice and I know what's falling or moving or adjusting, but it's still like, anyway, two bottles of kefir because it was two for 10 and usually one is seven. So November 14th is a ways away. I'll definitely finish these, which are good for the guts, by the way. A, a, a. I wonder if this is gonna be good. I'll try it now as a snack. I've been meaning to get clementines. I love them. No! <sighs> much effort I went through to try to find one that wasn't bruised in the store to drop it and dash it in my own floor. I bought these so I can make apple crumble on Monday just to get a little in the Thanksgiving spirit. And the feature presentation, salmon. I've never been big on turkey. Yes. Part of my door. I've been big on turkey. My great grandma used to love that when she was able to cook back back in the day when we do like the Thanksgiving whole thing. Never loved it though. So I'm gonna keep it low key this year. And the only treat I really want is that ice cream and then to make apple crumble with cardamom. Cause I've never used it with that before. And since I got a whiff when I made my chai mix this morning, I'm ready for it. tonight even if it's midnight which will technically be tomorrow but whatever okay so apple caramel crumble 
what I have a feeling this is gonna be too sweet. Before I let you go for the evening and stare at the screen for several hours, let's taste test this. It's actually really good. Super sweet as I expected. Like super sweet. There's something stuck between my teeth. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm guessing it's caramel. It's good. I actually really like it. I like it better than the peanut one we got last time. Good morning, guys. This is how I take pics by myself. I I feel like I'm in a listening to Adele mood because I'm still cold. I've been back for a bit, washed my hands with hot, hot water, and it still feels cold on the fingertips. I'm gonna have to take out my speed heater today. They need to fix that door though, for real, for real. I'm just having what I call grown people's Lunchables because back in the day, I didn't realize that Lunchables was basically kids' shakuri boards. I love spicy supersada though. I also have some fried rice to reheat and eat. I still can't believe I went out in this cold. I still can't believe there was a time when I would take these pictures every single day for two years. Dedication. Young people don't feel cold. What I'm doing right now is I'm going through and checking my tags. Although apparently YouTube tags don't really help people find your stuff, I do notice that when there are typos in my tags, I get less views. So that could be a possibility since almost every video has some typo. Can't see. Happens all the time. So I'm just doing that and then I'm gonna respond to comments, start editing the vlog. And I try to go live, but then I was doing it through my phone and I'm like, wait, how am I supposed to do, well, first of all, phone is upside down. <laughs> how am I supposed to do this when I can't even see anything? Like I'd have to be like this zoomed in to be able to read comments. So I gotta figure it out because I do wanna start going live with you guys. I need to figure out what time works best for you. A little scattered brain on this Saturday. I don't know if I'll go out. I'm kind of in a hibernation mood and mode after I felt like I got chilled to the bones. <sighs> but if I do, you know, as per usual. Brussels sprites are spicy. I never really had those growing up, so I didn't know when people said, ew, Brussels sprouts. I don't really know, because I love broccoli growing up. Let's see what the salmon is saying. So good. I think I prefer it this way versus the dry rub. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below, and until next week, Stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love you later.